I'm an artist from South Korea. Uh, my name is Yeon Do Jung, and uh, my work, building with collection, will be screened here in the Art Basel film sector. Uh, it is about the memories, and it is about the uh, how we accept the change of our lives. It was first made for the Venice Architecture Biennale in uh, two years ago, and. The, it's kind of a stitched images of layers of layers that moves very slowly so that it feels like uh, you, uh, you're watching uh, a street uh, that is time frozen and you yourself is alone, awake and, uh, and uh, see the uh, sceneries one by one. Actually, this, the street I shoot the video was about to demolish it. So the whole government was uh, uh, trying to build the area to demolish the old uh, houses and they built new apartments. So they, uh, it is the kind of last minute of the, the scenery that will be disappeared. And uh, I want to mesmerize the, the, the feeling of the, the people's life there and try to listen to the ears dropping to the someone who might have lived there uh, and uh, uh, you yourself is, uh, is alone try to see and enjoy the uh, scenery there. It's not particularly uh, typical reality in Seoul. I think um, uh, it happens everywhere in the world. You know, the, uh, in order to have a new uh, buildings, uh, they have to demolish the old ones. I, when I first came to Hong Kong, I stayed at the uh, uh, Sam Sui Po, there was a house, public house called the Mei Ho Law, which I thought was really interesting because um, they kept the old uh, public housing uh, into the uh, hotel and I was staying in one room that used to be shared by the two families, which I think is really interesting. The way, uh, the reason why I was interested in was because I was living, I was sleeping in some, uh, used to be the someone's house and uh, actually two families' houses. What's so nice about is the space has, uh, itself has uh, memories. And um, uh, there is a little uh, museum downstairs to show the, how the people live, uh, used to live there. You know, just thinking about this hotel is a hotel, and the place you sleep is sleep. But uh, once you go there and uh, feel the, what might have happened in the past, actually tells you so much stories about it. Um, the area I shoot in Seoul was uh, the area that is going to be demolished, and it was actually built in the 1970s. Uh, uh, planned uh, kind of uh, villages that uh, government. Uh, built in the 70s, but now, after like 40 years later, they, they demolish it, 45 years later, they demolish it, uh, the, the building itself, and they built it exactly the same looking apartment, high-rise apartment that you can spot in, in here in Hong Kong so often. And that is something I'm not trying to, to think about the, the cityscape changing, I'm not trying to think about the, how the, the policy of the, the, the land uh, uh, pro uh, property is changing. I'm, I'm trying to think about the, each individual person and their, what, they, what they have experienced in their home. It's especially, for example, in the, in the narration, there is one girl is talking about uh, they have only two, uh, two rooms in the house and uh, there is only one bed in the house. So, uh, his mother and father, uh, sorry, her mother and father, and her herself is sleeping on the floor, except his brother is sleeping on the <laughs> mattress. And uh, he, she was thinking about what kind of feeling will it be to looking up the ceiling that is 30 centimeter higher than herself to looking at the ceiling. So he, she was thinking about her uh, brother and how the uh, you know whole family was uh, onto the uh, you know giving a hope for the uh, you know, son who will you know, raise our uh, family back again. And, and um, that's something, the, the house doesn't mean anything except without the, the life, uh, without the family, without the experience you have there, uh, live your life. 
So that's an important part for me. I'm interested in people. So, um, for example, I, I, produ I was in residence program in Hong Kong last year uh, for three months, and um, the thing I was so interested in is, as I told you, that the, I stayed in a hotel that is, used to be the two families uh, house. When I met a 20 years old girl, an 80 years old lady, they chit-chat like a oh, granny and they, they, they talk like a friends. It never happens in Korea. In, in Korea, we choose words carefully. We, we uh, use the word for the respect and you know, we choose uh, careful subjects and things like that. So it's very difficult to have a good communication with the different generation. But I thought was Hong Kong was so interesting that uh, you know, people, although you have a 60 years of uh, age differences, they talk like a friend which gives me a feeling that the history is kind of a combined so easily. So you, you are talking about the past, but yet again you are talking about the uh, current and you are talking about the future, in regardless of your generation. What I'm really interested in is, is the, uh, dealing with the history is something in between the person and in between the, what you share and what I share. It's, it's something that uh, it, it only is existing in a relational uh, kind of situation rather than the, uh, you study about the history through the books and that looking at the Google Maps to, wow, in the 1950s Hong Kong looked like this kind of feeling. So for me, uh, the building recollection is about the kind of reminiscent feeling of the things that is going to be dis uh, disappeared but still exist. And also the, the works I'm, I'm, I, I produced last year in Hong Kong was also, it is about the, the feeling of the, the 60 years of a Hong Kong life in a two different person's perspective, and which I, I think is the most interesting part. Yeah. In terms of audience, I think uh, Hong Kong people are really attentive. They really sit down and they really watch it. Video work is really a kind of a demanding artwork. Uh, you, you're not just uh, passing by and uh, watch it for a few seconds. It's you have to spend the time, sit down, and uh, try to uh, kind of endure the tension that works uh, brings to you, which I think is really interesting for the audience. If you really endure this time, then it will reward you. Uh, building recollection is just a very slow video of flowing from one to another in a time frozen city that is going to be disappear, but sometimes you hear the voice of uh, people who lives, uh, used to live there is talking about their life. It is, if you get bored from the uh, you know, life story, then what is interesting? Uh, I, for me, it, it is, uh, it's almost like a, like a mirror. You're looking at uh, someone else's life to looking at uh, yourself, and it is kind of a communication, and it is part, uh, part of the history, and it is part of the, uh, the way you live. And uh, art, for me, is a really interesting way to engage with the people.